After getting buffed, I start out at Nim's Stronghold on lock because it's the closest place you can call an ITV near a starport. I have my G9 ITV set to my house since I have a bounty terminal outside. Normally probe droids, when you drop them out in the wilderness somewhere, they'll drop somewhere random around you, but if you don't already know, when you call down a probe droid on the steps of a structure, like City Hall or your own house, the probe droid will land on top of you. So from here at my house, I have a bounty terminal outside, my probe droid's gonna land on top of me at the steps, so I don't have to move anywhere when I'm checking bounties. Before this though, you're gonna want to pick up a bunch of Arakid or Rakid, I have no clue how to say it probe droids and seeker droids then you can click the bounty terminal grab a rebel or imperial bounty wait for the contact to talk to you then you can send your probe droid out and see what planet your target is on after 20 seconds your probe droid will land you talk to it click transfer a biological signature and then it'll yeet itself off into the heavens above and try to find what planet your target is on and my bounty's on tatooine i happen to have the cantina itv from around the time bespin came out so I'm going to use that to go to the Moss Eisley Cantina. Now that I'm here, I'm pressing V to open the planetary map to see where they might be. That orange waypoint. So it looks like they're at anchor head, so I'm going to go ahead and head that way. On my way there, I'm going to hit two seeker droids, one for identify and one for tracking. Identify comes back a little faster, but tracking is going to give you those continuous waypoints to where they are. This is the point where you want to make sure you have all your buffs on, buff items, gear, everything is good to go. Now I'm loading into Anchorhead and I just seen him run by. Alright, target acquired. He dired me during my prescience. Interesting. I know Smuggler's Concussion Shot will still apply a dire even if it's missed or dodged or whatever else, but I didn't think it would happen during prescience because prescience is supposed to avoid everything. But you learn something new every day. And we caught back up with him. Obviously you don't want to get that close to a smuggler, otherwise you'll get pistol whipped like I did, but I just really didn't want him to get away in his vehicle again, so I got close to it. It's okay. And there we go, off to the next one. So same thing as before, get your probe droid out there, figure out what planet they're on. Probe droid came back, looks like it's on this planet, Talus. Okay, looks like he's at the flashpoint, so you can type slash GCW to teleport there. Okay, let's drop some seeker droids, identify and track like before. Alright, so the waypoint from the probe droid shows that he was back there. There's a bunch of Imperials here, so... Looks like he's probably a spy. Seeker droid came back with a waypoint. Oh, hello. <laughs> and there he is. How the fuck did that not reveal him? Okay. When you're going up against melee people, you usually want to kite them and just try to stay away from them. Usually spies will switch to range and they'll do less damage. Alright, so since this guy decoyed, he'll most likely go ahead and run away with smoke bomb or he might come back out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a smoke bomb. Okay. Wait for my seeker to pop up and show me where he is. Oh, he comes back out anyway with a ranged attack.
And there we go, easy peasy, on to the next one. Good luck.